Welcome to Enviro Close Up. I am Carl Grossman. The subject, Nuclear Wastelands. It's an absolutely awesome book, a 666-page book, an encyclopedic account of the devastation caused throughout the world by the production of nuclear weapons. And with us is Howard Yu, and he is a co-author of uh, Nuclear Wastelands, Dr. Howard Yu, who is a specialist in? Occupational and environmental medicine. Of course, uh, nuclear technology has hit people of every occupation, as you note in the uh, book. How did this book come about? This book was a collaboration between the International Physicians for the Prevention of Nuclear War and the Institute for Energy and Environmental Research in Washington. It was supported by grants from foundations, and we're really interested in furthering the work of the international physicians and preventing nuclear war and showing amazing amount of damage that could happen even without another detonation, detonation of a nuclear weapon in war. Now what the, well, the bottom line, so to speak, of the book, what you find is just incredible, uh, disastrous consequences all over the globe because of the, uh, the production of nuclear weapons from what was the Soviet Union to England to France to here in the United States. Uh, Perhaps describe the scale of destruction. I mean, you speak in the book of, of, of not only this generation and past generations, but generations to come who will be victims of all this. That's correct. Um, nuclear weapons production involves uh, a very complicated set of, uh, of uh, processes. The first step being the mining of uranium, which has to be extracted and processed and converted to plutonium in nuclear reactors then the nuclear weapons have to be assembled using a lot of different parts and processes. Well, the production of nuclear weapons uh, not only involves these factories and the nuclear weapons owning countries, but the exploitation of resources throughout the world. So for instance, uranium for military purposes was uh, mined in 30 countries throughout the world, including some of the poorest countries in the world that were colonies for the nuclear weapons producing uh, uh, weapon states. Um, you know, weapons production involved industry in a massive scale, all of it secret, of course, and not uh, susceptible to the same types of environmental or occupational controls that a normal industry would in a country such as the United States. All of this happening in secrecy meant that all of the, uh, the hazards could be uh, rampant in the occupationally exposed populations and the communities surrounding these plants without anybody knowing. And this is what was happening for decades, and only now we're just beginning to grasp the extent of the damage that was wrought. Uh, absolutely marvelous quote in the book, and let me just, just read, read, read this quote. This is a Canadian Indian speaking about uh, what hit his part of the world. White people came here a long time ago, took all the furs, trapped all the beaver out and the otter and the mink, things like that. They went away and they left us with the bush and the rocks. It wasn't too much later, they came back again. They call that logging. Cut down all the trees, white pine, red pine, cut it all down, and they left us on the bare rocks. Then they discovered uranium here, and the old man said, now the sons of a bitches are back for the rocks. That's correct. A, a powerful quote. Uh, Dr. Yu, you devoted your life to, uh, to saving life. You're a, you're a physician. What's your feelings after kind of uncovering so much of this, seeing the cloud of, of destruction and death that's, uh, that's been created? Well, apart from the shock of just realizing to the extent of the damage, I think as a physician, um, you know, there's, a f there's a lot of hope in the sense that the first step in trying to deal with this problem is by recognizing the extent of the problem. And that can't happen until the secret barriers come down. And what I've seen in this collaboration, this is a collaboration of 17 authors uh, throughout the globe, is people who are committed to understanding this problem, committed in trying to extract those secrets, and committed to seeing it right to the end. That is, to doing the studies, no matter how difficult they are, and pursuing government officials until they can give up the information that they know is truthful. Every country people are worried about the legacy that we're leaving 
our children and they're concerned and they're out there and they're working on this, whether they're physicians, physicists or engineers or just people who are living in the communities that are affected. And a first step would be getting a very important book. I mean, this book tells the whole story and it's nearly 700 pages, Nuclear Wastelands. It's published by MIT Press. Uh, Howard Yu is, is one of, one of the, uh, the co-editors, Arjun Mak how do you pronounce it? Makajani. Makajani and Catherine Yi, which is an easier name to pronounce. The other, the, basically the three co-editors, an important book. Get it and get active. This has been Enviro Close-Up. Thanks for watching.